Yeah, it was a great answer. Um, you know, especially they, you know, he, Stroman comes out and retires the first two hitters. Um, Aaron, Aaron works the walk with a great at bat. Didi grinds out a really good at bat, and then Miggy finishes off. And now all of a sudden, we're right back in the game. And I thought our at bats all night up and down were really, really strong. We made Stroman work really hard. Um, and tonight we're able to get obviously a couple of those big hits to to throw some crooked numbers up there. But you know Stroman came in throwing the ball well, and and I thought we made it difficult on him with with just our up and down at bat quality. What'd you see from Lynn tonight? Um, just a little bit off command wise early, um, you know, and then had a couple, you know, breaks not go his way. You know, we almost had an out on a really good play by. Guardy on the back pick there, a little bloop into right, and just. But what I love there is, you know, after throwing however many thirty something pitches, and he doesn't flinch. You know, he he keeps us in the game, battles through. Probably could have finished five, but um, you know, at that point, felt like with with the leadoff hit from Granderson, it felt like a good idea to go go greeny there especially with the uncertainty with the weather there um but i thought you know for really struggling through that first inning a little bit unlucky too to be able to compete and keep us in there um i think speaks a lot to him we know you guys struggled with runners in scoring position the last two games how big is the exhale when you see hit after hit in those spots tonight yeah it's huge uh, again especially against a good pitcher that came in throwing the ball well and and i just I just thought the at-bats were really, really strong up and down, and and a lot of guys having a hand in it. Um, so good to see that and good to see us, um, you know, throw a big number up there. Mark. You mentioned Green. Do you, do you envision using him more in multiple innings? Because I think you've done that now the last two times, and mm-hmm. he's been scoreless in his, each of his last three, and what are you seeing there as far as the turnaround? Yeah, I mean, obviously we feel like he's certainly capable of that. Um, you know, so it was good to see him go two and, and really cruise through a, I think like a four pitch second inning there. So, um, we certainly know that's a role he's capable of filling. It's going to be different all the time, just based on who's available, where we are in the game. You know, if we're tied or leading and and we have all our leverage guys lined up, then those are going to be days when maybe it's a little bit shorter. But there's certainly going to be those outings where, you know, we're going to ask him to go multiple innings, and, and we know he's certainly capable of that. Larry, before they uh, postponed it, what what did the uh, umpires tell you about the chances of being able to finish this game? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, no, we, we got a heads up from the umpires just, <clears throat> you know, right before it was coming that they thought it was going to get real windy and, and nasty uh, around 9.30, 9.40, uh it you know it finally started to blow in you could see it coming obviously and um and then <clears throat> the the original um thought was that it would be maybe an hour and a half sometime after 11 but even some uncertainty there and so we just didn't really we didn't really know for sure eric did judge end up taking dry swing he did not he did not he was a little sore from from throwing from throwing, so we need to not do the dry swings yet. Ryan. Aaron, was that soreness something that's expected, throwing like that, or was that discouraging at all? No, I, you just don't know. We're waiting again for it to be out of there, and once it is, then we'll go. But we're not going to, you know, we're not going to press it, especially now that we've, you know, waited this long. So I think when he starts swinging a bat – You'll know that you know he's probably getting close, and that and that the pain the pain at the end point is out of there. Eric, so just one more follow up on that. Will he be down for the next day or so, so you don't push it? Aaron, anymore? yeah, not necessarily. No, no. I mean, I think all in all, it was a good day today. He continues to progress, and he'll continue to, you know, work through his all that he does, and and we'll just kind of see where we're at day by day.